In this film we're going to be looking at a curves technique called flattening the curve and uh, once you use it you'll get a big fan of it because it's uh, one that protects most of the color adjustments. Uh, it's so well used by me I basically have it as a simple action that uh, I even use my F11 key to actually play it when I need to and things really so uh, again it is a well used kind of technique. What we're basically going to be looking at is an image that is adjusted by two adjustment layers. The first is going to be a um, hue and saturation layer uh, and then the other one is going to be the actual curves adjustment layer itself. So let's just uh, get rid of these to begin with and we'll start from the fresh document. So what we've got here is obviously just the normal file ready to do something with and we want to actually affect the brightness and the darks within the image and have a little bit more control than perhaps within levels. So the first thing I'm going to do is so I can be non-destructive and use this technique I'm going to click on to the adjustment layer and I'm going to click on to hue and saturation and I'm just going to grab the middle slider and drag it all the way to the left hand side. Once that's done, I'm then going to turn the blend mode into soft light. Okay, that's just a part of the technique. Now, that's a technique we use quite a lot if you think about it because it's the first stage or one of the stages for one of our high contrast looks that we achieve, especially when we're looking to offer a softening technique with it as well. Okay, so once that's done, um, all we've got to do then is click on the uh, adjustment layer again and just click on to a curves adjustment and um, just so you can kind of follow the technique the first thing I'm going to do is basically make it clip to the layer below so it's going to clip to the hue and saturation layer once I've done that all I'm going to do is grab the uh, black point and drag it up into the uh, middle and I'm going to drag the white point down into the uh, middle as well and this is where we get the expression flatten the curve so it should be a perfect 128 in fact uh, by two by 255 and then once that's there we're ready to go now to use this technique all we now need to do is click on the little hand scrubby tool choose the areas that we want to adjust so in other words let's adjust the highlight first on here so you can see wherever my picker is that kind of uh, bouncing ball along the curve line so let's go into the high uh, the highlight and once more if we want to kind of drag it down or going to drag it up to get lighter so up to lighten down to darken yeah if you make a mistake you want to get rid of it just click on the dot hit the delete button or or basically uh, just slide it off the curve itself so once again clicking onto the scrubby choose the area uh, the area that we want and then basically just change the little areas within the image that is going to give you the the look and the feel that you're trying to actually create within the image itself and then if you've done a job right what you're going to find is that as long as you've clipped here um, it's not going to have any real color change so if we look at the girl's hair at the top obviously there's a contrast change but if we look at the girl's hair on the top and we just click off the saturation the tonality on the hair the coloring of the hair is exactly the same as well as actually in the grays and so on with it so just to uh, refresh you on that um, obviously to kind of begin from scratch again all we've got to do click onto the adjustment layer cre create a hue and saturation take that fully out turn it into soft light hit another um, curves adjustment layer then remember to clip it straight straight away slide your um, curve to make it flat remember we want it at 255 128 gives us a perfect flat then click onto your scrubby select the part that you want to change and then actually change the curve in whatever way direction that you want and obviously what I was saying to you it's it's so quick and I use it so much that all I do is either click on the action here makes it for me straight away once more clicking on the scrubby tool just go into adjust the parts that I don't want lights and darks but what it's not doing is adjusting the color for me so you can see how quickly this curve has been create, uh, created because of the action and 
like I was saying to you, the key thing for me is uh, anything that I use a lot of, I include in the action a, uh, a shortcut key, in this case is F, F11. So you can see that's already been applied. Let's delete that out of the way. So we'll get rid of it, pressing the F11. And once more, we're back to picking up the scrubby tool and adjusting the tones that we want to within the image itself. And that's it. And that's what we talk about, flattening the curve with curves.